All right. I'm Waylon Lewis of Elephant Journal, and I'm here with my new friend, Kurt. Hello. What's your last name? Kurt Forsman with Kurt. Assesso and Therabis. With Assesso and... Where's Therabis? This? Right here, yeah. Therabis. Any uh, company with a paw as a logo is good by me. So we're going to talk about cannabinoids. Cannabinoids. Yeah. So um, they aren't related to cabins. Correct. And they're not exactly related to pot. They're a little related to pot. So they're distantly related to pot. They're a cousin of marijuana. So right. cannabinoids come from the cannabis plant. There's a Thanksgiving joke in there somewhere. Probably. A cousin of marijuana. Yeah, it comes, is. Comes to your house. Yeah, so um, THC is uh, uh, a, a psychoactive cannabinoid, and CBD is a non psychoactive cannabinoid. And that's the therapeutic molecule that Say goes Say that again right. really slowly. So THC is pot. That's the stuff that gets you high. THC is psychoactive pot. and gets you high, correct. And then the other thing. That Cannabidiol just... is the therapeutic molecule from the same plant, but it has no psychoactive properties. It's so it's from hemp. It's from hemp. So if any of you aren't aware, um, hemp is what the U.S. flag was made out of in the beginning, the U.S. Constitution. Sail stuff cloth, like paper, rope, yeah. building materials. Washington grew it. Yeah, exactly. Washington like and Franklin were big hemp farmers. Right. So we're here to talk about cannabinoids and how they can be good for our stress and what else? What, what general things can it address? And the super exciting thing we're going to get to is that it can replace... Right now, we're drowning ourselves in our watershed and everything in drugs. Mm -hmm. And so this is a natural alternative, Yeah, right? Cannabinoids are, and the research has shown that cannabinoids are effective um, really with three things. Uh, pain, inflammation, and anxiety. I was hoping brutal heartbreak would be number three. Uh, and that, would fall, that would fall under anxiety, probably. <laughs> um, and no! <laughs> okay, so pain... Inflammation. Inflammation. And anxiety. And anxiety. And this yeah. is stuff that affects, I would say, all humans. So all humans and, I guess, dogs is your market. That's a pretty good market. So we, we have two products, one for humans, one for dogs. And what we're using is the therapeutic molecule called cannabidiol, which comes from the cannabis plant. Okay. It's not psychoactive. Cannabidiol. You're not going to get high on this, but you're going to get all the therapeutic benefits from, benefits from cannabis that, um, that you would otherwise get from smoking marijuana, but there's no, there's no high in this at all. So, so it's, it's like, it's like Republican parent approved pot. Like there's no pot, there's no high, there's no real druggy aspect to correct. it. But you get all the benefits. Yeah, it's, it's the politically correct way to participate in cannabis and awesome. uh, has no stigma. So right. it's, it's something soccer moms can enjoy. It's something uh, busy executives can enjoy. Right. You know, these people go to work and they get stressed out and they're looking for natural remedies to relieve their stress, but they don't want to be high all day. This is, this is what you would use cannabidiol for, is you would get the therapeutic benefit, but not the psychoactive part. So it allows right. you know, people like that to function. That's awesome. So it's safe to drive with, it's safe for your pets. It's safe, it's, yeah, it's safe to drive with and safe for your pets. Right. That's correct. Right. Safe to drive with your pets with? Probably, but don't, yeah, don't let your pets drive. All right, so if you're just tuning in, uh, say where you're from, Reggie from Cleveland, and um, Brigitte from Oh My God, and lots of cool comments already. What's the name of the company? So we'll go over that a couple times. Sure. But Assesso is for humans, right? So, yeah, a little product description. This is called Assesso. It's a product designed for humans. It's 100% herbal and natural. If you look at the back panel right here, it's all natural ingredients that are designed to reduce anxiety. So the big one is L-theanine which is derived from green tea, and that's a potent natural anti-anxiety. And when you combine that with cannabidiol, you have a very synergistic blend of ingredients that is very effective for anxiety. Every uh, five minutes, you have a guaranteed uh, picture of cute pets just chilling out. These are, are they customers? I guess not yet. This they one's don't look very customer. stressed out. <laughs> oh, because he has seizures? He has seizures. Yeah, so this doggy has seizures, and this kind of stuff is... So Pam mm -hmm. is our designer at Elephant. She doesn't work with Assesso or anything, but you know about all this stuff. Because I'm an herbalist. Because you're a certified herbalist. Mm -hmm. And so is... Um, and there's never-ending story down here. What was the dragon in never-ending story? Falcor. Falcor. Uh-huh. Mini Falcor. Um, so how is it good for a dog with seizures? Um... 
So I had been giving him CBD oil um, regularly, mm-hmm. and he went from three, two or three seizures a day wow. to two or three seizures a week. So he does take a pharmaceutical. He has to. I haven't transitioned him off that yet. Yeah. But um, when he has a seizure, I give him the CBD oil right away, and it takes him out of it in like 10 minutes. So Michelle here says... I'm in constant pain and I refuse pain pills. I have a little bit of that. My family was Christian scientists back yeah. in the day that I don't like to take a lot of drugs just to dull pain. I yeah. want to get to the root cause. Yeah. Um, so this kind of thing is probably yeah. better than drugs. The, 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 the beautiful thing about uh, natural medicine is that, uh, no toxicity and no side effects. So this is a product you would take similar to drugs, but you would have none of those negative side effects. And this has all been tested. Is it scientific? It's there's there's ample science on cannabinoids dating for the last twenty years. We did um, observational trials um, on the product here locally, so we know that it's safe and it's effective. Mm-hmm. Uh, our our pet product is actually uh, being studied by University of Pennsylvania. They're doing a full blown uh, randomized placebo controlled trial. So Can we I take, throw these in. Yeah, we take so our cool. research very seriously. Awesome, thank you. So these are, it's hard to read backward um, unless you're already taking the uh, product, but it's, you have different brands. This is like for dogs who are anxious. And so crazy. we serve humans and dogs. This is the dog brand. It's called Therabis, and it's designed the same way. It's designed for specific indications. This is called calm and quiet. So it's good for anxiety. We don't say anxiety on the label. We say calm. Uh, but it works the same way it does on humans. Dogs have endocannabinoid systems like humans, and they react the same way. So that's going to create a lot of relaxation in a dog. Um, we've had a lot of people use it for fireworks. July 4th, it's very popular because dogs get oh, yeah. scared during fireworks yeah. or house guests or separation anxiety right. or travel. So it's, it's great for relaxing a dog with zero side effects. And does it prevent them from enjoying life? I mean, is it just taking them down, kind of? Or are they still kind of awake and with it? No, they're they're awake and aware. So um, they say, the science says that cannabinoids increase alpha wave generation in the brain. So um, a lot of people liken the human version of this to uh, yoga and a yoga in a pouch. It's going to give you the feeling you would feel after meditation or yoga. You're very calm and relaxed, but you're focused. So it's not going to dumb you down, okay. but it's definitely going to relax you and well, like keep you in a focused mood. Right. My yeah. staff is going to start sprinkling that in my water. Yeah. Well, I use this daily. I mean, everyone gets stressed, including me. I take this about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's really? perfect. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And you don't get sleepy or anything? No. It's just it takes the edge off. It's a great way to take the edge off in a natural way, and it, it totally chills you down. And so you, know, you have else? a stressful day. Mother's yeah. little helper. Take this. So it's, it works very well. So on a serious level, like we were talking with Dave and others before this conversation, um, what's the drug market right now? Like we Americans are drugging ourselves like crazy. We're spending hundreds of billions of dollars on drugs right now. And some of it's necessary and understandable and some of it is, you know, if we had a healthy alternative that might be better so we do really well with populations who want natural therapies um i'm personally trying to get away from pharma because of the side effects and the negativity and the cost and that's who we're serving is we're serving people who want natural alternatives to their pharma Mm -hmm. but it's um it's a big deal you know there's a lot of uh the pharma industry is dying to get into this industry they're clamoring to compete that because it's a natural product, they have a hard time owning that. So Because they can't patent it? They can't patent nature. So uh, that's the beauty of this product is that right. it's 100% natural. It's not, it's not a synthetic molecule made in the lab. So what's their approach? Is their approach to try to patent nature? Because they've tried in the past. Monsanto patented a pig and, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. So they're they're trying to they're trying to get more into uh, into natural remedies, but um, you know the model only works if you can own the molecule. And the only only way to own a molecule is by inventing it in a lab. So right. we really look at ourselves as a nutritional supplement company. We're not a pharmaceutical product; it's a yeah. fully legal supplement. I love it. So I love what you just said. The only way for them to really be able to own this would be to created in a lab. You can't patch into control or own nature. If you like that sentiment, give it a like or a love or a crazy emoticon or a calm emoticon. Um, That kind of stuff will help this, help Kurt, help this great company get beyond, and I say this as a journalist, not as um, 
This is, you're, we're proud to work with you as a sponsor, but I also ask whatever I want, mm -hmm. including critical questions. So if you want to support, we try and work with companies we believe in. If you want to support this and uh, give a little bit of a, a F you in a, polite, <laughs> in a polite way to Big Pharma, um, you know, uh, the likes and loves of funny emoticons and shares actually help the Facebook algorithm blow up so that we can reach people who maybe need this stuff or dogs. Um, so like with my dog Redford, most, a lot of people at Elephant know Redford. Um, he's down right below me napping. There he is. And, um, he's like a pretty happy, healthy, active dog. Um, the one thing he does is Pam and every best, um, knows is like anyone who comes in, he'll, he's half hound. So yeah. he's very vocal. He gets excited he, yeah. Yeah. for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. And then he circles, yeah, I just did that and he hopped up. Mm -hmm. And um, so he kind of talks and I always joke that like one day he's going to like fully just start speaking yeah. English. Um, but it's a little bit uh, intense to live with because sure. he does it 80 times yeah. a day. Yeah. And um, you know, it's pretty hyper. Like it's someone comes to my door and instead of me being able to greet them and say hello yeah. and invite them in and whatever it's dealing with red for yeah, flipping out dogs you know most everyone has a dog with some form of anxiety house right. gus is a big one as we were saying before thunderstorms fireworks um we drive to california a lot and my dog used to be hyper in the car and we actually give them the uh the calm and quiet for therapists and it relaxes them so people use this for um you know, house guests and separation anxiety. You can use it as needed. So if you know you're having friends over for dinner, you give it to your dog right before the friends come and it's gonna And what does them this out. look like? It's a powder? Yeah. You put it in food? It's a powder, it's handy sachets. So um, it's a sachet, you basically rip it off, pour it in their food mm -hmm. and it's- um, And they like it? They love it, it's got, it's got vegan bacon flavoring. Don't ask me how they make that, but it's vegan bacon be stealing, flavoring. I'm stealing Redford's. And then they have um, a shellfish called green lip mussel, which is grown in New Zealand. It's a super lipid. It's very high in proteins and omegas. And so we call it the surf and turf. So uh -huh. when we did palatability studies, we had a 95% um, success factor. Dogs like it so much that you need to be careful if you leave it in your coat pocket they're gonna likely smell it and go into your coat pocket and take it out and eat it. That's what happened to me. Yeah. My dog actually opened my coat closet door to get into my pocket to eat it, so. All right, every five minutes you get the promised cute, cuteness over here. Can you stop looking at me for a second? Yeah, these dogs do not look stressed out, but they're they're just chill. And there's Redford the board wondering what's up. Little yawn. All right, um, so let's talk a little bit more about Assesso. Sure. So what are the issues that Assesso is addressing? Similar things like... So when we... Yeah. And then if you guys leave comments or questions or your situation um, or any doubts or whatever, we'll go through all of them and um, reply. And leave a like uh, or uh, whatever. That'll help the video grow and get to more people. Um, the more likes or whatever it gets. And, um, and also if you're just tuning in, say where you're from. We love to give shout outs to where everyone is from. And Pam has a question real quick. Shoot. Okay. In relationship to dogs, how long does it take to work on the dog? Yeah, so it's, it's we have three different formulas. Um, the, the calm and quiet, which is designed for anxiety. The calm and quiet works within 20 minutes. The stop Sorry, the, go That's ahead. on the dogs. That's on the dogs. Uh -huh. So we'll just jump in here. The stop, Redford. the stop the itch. Uh, works in two to three days. So it takes a while for the formula to set up in the system before it starts having any benefits. Stop the itches for puritis, uh, an inflammatory skin condition. So any type of skin irritation on a dog, this is gonna help them uh, like an allergy medicine. Basically. And it's actually good for their coat, right? It's, it's good, good for their coat. Somewhere. The green lip muscle is good for their coat. And then we have up and moving, which is our osteoarthritis product. And this takes three to five days. So the way cannabinoids work in the body is um, they, they're absorbed in your fat cells. So you actually have to take cannabinoids for three to five days before there's enough in your system 
uh, until it starts taking a benefit. So it's not instant for some of the products, but some of the, pro some of the products are instant and others take a few days before it works. Is that too much information? So did you, is this your company? Did you start it? No, I, I just, uh, no, it's not my company. I, I'm the general manager. I, yeah. I run it, but we have uh, you know, a bunch of partners. That so how did anyone ever, th I guess my question is like, how, what's the Genesis story? How did you guys think of it? So this? it's different for both products. Uh, the, the Therabis product was invented by uh, our founder, Stephen Katz. This is the... That's the dog product, right. Therabis. Therabis. Um, he runs a place called the Bronx Vet Center in the Bronx, New York, and he invented this stuff in a kitchen sink 10 years ago. Dr. Katz, Dr. Katz. runs a dog... He runs a dog center. So center. they... Um, He's seen over 10,000 pit bulls uh, at that place in the last 10 years, and he's given them all this, as well as chihuahuas. Wow. These are dogs indigenous to the inner city, and he's been, he's been really successful with these products. So we just we commercialized it. We hempified it. We took what you he did. You were like, wow, this is working. This guy has worked with 10,000 dogs. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we knew it was a formula that works, and... Um, Hemp is a synergizer. When you mix hemp with uh, other active ingredients, it makes it stronger. So that's what we did. We took Dr. Katz's formula and we made it stronger by adding hemp. All right, let's do a question or two and then jump into a yeah. sesso a little more. Um, so Marnie thought uh, this stuff, cannabis, was toxic for dogs. So it's, it's, it's derived from industrial hemp. What's toxic for dogs is, is uh, certain things called terpenes. And terpenes are the smell part of the cannabis plant. That's what gives the cannabis plant its unique smell. Some terpenes are toxic to dogs. However, these products have zero, the dog products have zero terpenes in them, so there's no risk for dogs. And we've literally tested this on, and Dr. Katz has tested it on thousands and thousands of dogs. So it's the terpene, and the terpene is Certain not. terpenes are bad for dogs, yeah. And they're not correct. in this. No, no terpenes. Great question. No terpenes. Yeah, any concerns? I mean, I love my dog, and he... Um, has led a drug-free life. So <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I don't want to be like getting him high or whatever, no, you know. No. And then I read your about page and all that. So Good. how long does each box last from Brigitte? I yeah. assume you mean like the, the dog boxes, they have a whole bunch of packets. Yeah, so um, each each box is 30 sachets uh, and it's designed to be used one a day. So essentially, uh, if you're using it daily, a box will last a month. If you're using it as needed, like the calm and quiet, you know, this could last three months because you're taking it as needed. Right. So. And if you're using it in a kind of forgetful, random way, it could last a year. It could last three years. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Erica from Kailua in Hawaii. Kailua? Kailua. I have not been to Hawaii enough, nice. clearly. Uh, Sherry from Parker. Kristen from Carolina. Hey, yeah. Uh, Melanie, hello from Nashville. Sure wish the southern states would get on board with legalization, I assume you mean, which is a related but different yeah, issue. Yeah, so the, these pro the great thing about these products is they're legal in all 50 states. They're not marijuana. They're great industrial hemp, which is fully legal. Yeah, so you can visit our website. We, we ship them directly to you. Our website is therabis.com. Yeah, this is going to be backward, but you can kind of figure it out. T-H-E-R-A-B-I-S.com, yeah. therabis.com. And then our human website is myassesso, or M-Y-A-C-E-S-O dot com. Myassesso dot com. Huh? Oh, Lindsay, our editor on duty. Thank you, Lindsay. Has put both of the links in the comments. So you can order them directly online. We'll ship them to you. And also, Lindsay, if you want to put, I've interviewed some other hemp folks uh, before. Hemp, is, hemp can become you know, can replace plastic. Hemp is an amazing material. It's uh, it's torsionally very strong. It's stronger right. than cotton, and it uses less water. And yeah. uh, it wasn't, a, you know, the U.S. outlawed it in nineteen in the forties and made it, uh, you made it so you couldn't grow it. So, huh? It's silly. Yeah. So, um, hello from Riga, Latvia, originally from Portland, Oregon. That's Holly. Brittany, CBD is not toxic to anyone. Pets included quite the opposite. You, so you're responding very helpfully. Thank you. Yeah, you're th maybe thinking of THC, which in large amounts can be uncomfortable for animals, but not toxic, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the website is in the, um, in the comments from Lindsay. And Lindsay, maybe you could just repeat those websites. Uh, Autumn, stop the itch, my beagle suffers. So yeah, I don't know about this itchy thing. Dogs go through itchiness? So dogs have seasonal allergies uh -huh. uh, and they also have this thing called puritis, which is an inflammatory skin condition. 
uh, the active ingredients in our product are called bromelain and quercetin. And uh-huh. Bromelain and quercetin are from pineapples and the skin of vegetables, and they're known as nature's Benadryl. So anytime you have an itch, you know, you can buy bromelain and quercetin on the shelf as a standalone, but our product has it mixed with CBD. So it's a really effective uh, antihistamine. It's an antihistamine, a, a natural antihistamine. Do you have any itchy one for humans? We don't. So we Michelle don't. is saying, I wish Stop the Itch was made for people. <laughs> so what, what should she go? Go to Pharmaca? Like, what would be good for stopping itching if she goes through kidney disease, which makes you itch horribly? Uh, bromelain and quercetin. You can yeah. buy bromelain at, at a health food store. And nettles. And nettles. Nettle tea? Nettle tea, nettles as an extract or a nettle pill. So Michelle, hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, is is this legal in all states? It is legal in all 50 states because it's not psychoactive. It, it actually, because of that, it doesn't fall under the jurisdiction of the DEA. It's actually an FDA uh, product, so it's it's compliant with the FDA and nutritional supplements. But in fully ju- legal. Since you mentioned FDA and all that, so it's basically all of this is organic. There's not heavy pesticides or any pesticides. No, really. all um, it's fully organic and natural. We test everything, all the all the raw materials for heavy metals, pesticides, microbial growth. Some of these things grow microbes, and you don't want to put microbes in these things. Mold is included in that as well. And we also tested for solvents. So some people extract essential oils with solvents, and there can be residual solvents, which are bad Sorry. for you. So none, none of our products have that. We test it thoroughly before we make them, and we also test them when they're built to validate that. Love that. Great question from Melinda. What's the pricing on all this stuff? So let's. the pricing is designed to be affordable. Um, so the, the dog product, the average price for this is $40 for a month supply. Uh, that's the average price. Sorry. We, we also have these little five packs which are designed to allow people to try the product these the average price on these is eight dollars and you get you get five sachets in a pack so it's about a dollar a day about a dollar a day about a dollar a day so yeah if your dog is definitely going through one of these issues that doesn't seem too bad Um, it's still it's still going to be cheaper than meds and um, it's it's you know when we designed the product we we literally Really went to Petco and looked at what the pricing is and saw that forty dollars was the magic price point. So that we designed it around being affordable. That's how we designed it was to be affordable to people. All right, uh, great questions, guys. Keep them coming. Hey, yeah, from South Carolina, uh, therapist. I think you're missing an A there, uh, but I think Lindsay put the uh, links in here. Um, are there any? Extra, great question from Re- Rebecca Ireland. Are there any extra flavoring agri- ingredients that might affect a dog with food allergies? So, or IBD? I don't know what that no, is. So that's irritable bowel syndrome. Oh. No, um, so, um, less than 1% of dogs have shellfish allergies. So that's the only thing you need to check is make sure your dog doesn't have shellfish allergies because we do have shellfish in there. Okay. So all the ingredients are naturally derived. They are not derived from corn or wheat or any of those things. And and we're actually happy to send our customers the tests. Is that they're gluten free? Gluten free? Yes. Okay. Does that matter for dogs? Gluten free? Gluten sensitivity. Are they red fruits kind of paleo? So <laughs> I'm kidding. All righty. So let's yeah. talk a little more about Assessa. Assessa. Let's okay. talk about the humans here. Yeah. So um, much like the, uh, the pet line, we have a line of indication-specific formulas for humans. Okay. And animals and humans share endocannabinoid systems, so we all, animals and humans, benefit from you can, endocannabinoids. You have a I don't understand what endocannabinoids are. So, um, so, the endocanna- so our bodies are designed to process cannabinoids. This is an actual network of neuroreceptors in your body that interact with cannabinoids and it exists it's been proven they've been able to clone receptors outside of the body so it's an actual biological system that we were born with um, um, which is basically telling us that we need to we need to supplement our diets with cannabinoids and um, you get them your body also generates ouch your body generates natural cannabinoids on demand um, and you can also feed your body phytocannabinoids, um, which are growing outside. So we actually wow. have the ability to generate our cannabinoids. There are studies out there that show uh, with a heart attack, with an infarct, 
that your body reduces, your, your body synthesizes cannabinoids on demand to reduce the inflammation around the infarct. And then once the inf inflammation is gone, they get reabsorbed in your body. So this is a biologic system that um, produces cannabinoids on demand when your body needs it. And it, and it needs to be fed. So that's, this is what we feed it with. So that's science talk for Sorry. people who know stuff. Um, I, I flipped over to a view of the dogs for those of us who don't understand any of that, like myself. But it is heartening to hear that you guys actually know what you're talking about. Um, but uh, can you give like a layman's, uh, you know, that for dummies? What yeah. do I need to know in terms of assessing? So what you need to know is your body is already set up to work with these molecules that God made you with this. It's, it's a network. It's literally a communication network in your body that when you, when you add phytocannabinoids to it, it interacts with it and it does things like reduce anxiety and, and mm. reduce inflammation. Mm. So, so we're naturally set up to have. Yeah. Beth, you have a question? Well, I've heard that cannabinoids are naturally in breast milk, and that's what's important for brain development in children. There is, yeah, I don't know a ton about that, but I do know um, there are natural cannabinoids in breast and colostrum. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. So, um, right. so there's, the, there's, for anyone who wants to hear about theory, there's this theory known as the endocannabinoid deficiency, which means um, because of our modern diets, because of the environment that we've really um, uh, conflicted our, our endocannabinoid system and we actually need to feed ourselves cannabinoids hmm. to stay in an optimal state of health. Hmm. So when your endocannabinoid system is compromised, so is your immune system and your ability to, to get well is, is uh, compromised. So. Right. That's just one of the theories as to why people do so well on right. cannabinoids. Well, yeah, Michael Pollan has talked about that a lot in a different context, obviously, in terms of just eating real food and mm -hmm. food that's fresh and food that, you know, isn't processed yeah. and, you know, getting back to basically like supporting farmers. So um, you asked about origin. So this is uh, pretty yeah. funny. So, uh, you know, we, we've been in this business for five years and we used to make um, psychoactive products a while ago. So our heritage is, is THC in the dispensaries. The reason um, CBD came to the forefront is you had people going into dispensaries saying, I, I love what marijuana does for me, but I don't want to be high all day. I'm a truck driver. I'm a coach. I'm a teacher. I have a job. I can't afford to be high. So the whole reason this industry came into being is to be able to provide these people hmm to allow them to participate in cannabinoid medicine without that illegal part. So right. that's that's why that's how we came up with it. We were actually asked by people to develop a product that has no THC in it. And it's not just about the legality, it's also you're a little more functional. I mean, as far as I know, if you're getting high, maybe you don't want to be teaching a class full of kids. Cor <laughs> yeah, that that's correct. That's correct. Or driving a truck or right. uh, doing exactly. something dangerous. Exactly. Um, that's yeah. great. Um, so do we have any kind of discount are we offering? Okay. Yeah, someone's asking that. Kate is saying, how do you get 20% off on the sites? Code elephant at checkout. So the code is elephant, all caps or anything yeah. like no, that? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So just elephant in checkout, you'll get 20% off if you want to try it out. And for the dog stuff, you can Same do thing. a little trial size. Yeah, right? you can buy a trial size. Most people upgrade because it... It, it works on about 99% of the people. I'd say about 1% it doesn't work, but the majority of them it does work. So right. it, that's that's the nature of botanical medicine. So, yeah. Cool. Um, well, this is awesome. So basically this is like all the good stuff, but in a totally accessible form that you can use every day. We're taking the goodness of the, yeah. of the cannabis plant and making I it love that. legal. I love that. Um, yeah, a lot of questions. Is this expensive? So we have addressed that it's about a dollar a day. Brittany is saying very reasonable prices. Um, and yeah, you can if you want to trial it, you can use code Elephant in the discount. Thank you, Rhonda. You're super helpful. We should hire you. Um, uh, Joanna says I use cannabinoids on my dog who was recently diagnosed with epilepsy. Yeah, so this, I mean, epilepsy would be considered off-label use, but much like children with Dervais syndrome using cannabinoids, there's dogs with epilepsy, and they, they benefit well from cannabis. So it may help, but you may need to do additional Yeah, stuff. I mean, it's not, we're not designed for uh, the epilepsy market, but um, you're certainly welcome to try it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so someone's just giving you uh, some props. I love that this is organic and proven. 
Um, organic plus science is good stuff. What is the min? Yeah, so they have info about, there's a lot of questions about the pet stuff, about the weight right on the packaging, the weight of your dog. Right? So, yeah, so we have three sizes of products, small, medium, and large, and the weights are on the boxes. So, you know, anywhere from a one pound chihuahua up to a 150 pound Great Dane. So, right. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, and there's the links. If you look under Elephant Journal, Lindsay's been leaving the links there. Uh, this will help with separation anxiety for uh, my dog from Christian. I think that's kind of the deal. Um, does it ship to Canada? So not yet, unfortunately, not yet. Really? Uh, we're st we're still working on it. Yeah, wow. that's right. That's right. Well, I'm sure the Trump administration will make all this easier. We're, we're hoping. Yeah. Streamline. Yeah, you know. They'll get big government out of the way. All right. Well, um, Trudeau, Trudeau's a big supporter of cannabis, so right. Um, right. yeah, we're working on it. Right. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, someone's helping me out, Brittany. Basically, our bodies are built to use this stuff for our benefit. Uh, what about if you're pregnant or are wanting to get pregnant? Safe to take this. So um, just to err on the side of being conservative, I, I would not. I would stay away from it if you're pregnant or lactating, for sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Any other basic things like no, or uh, you should not use it? Yeah, so uh, this, is, uh, this is a natural supplement. Uh, it's designed for self-titration, self-experimentation. You're supposed to find what your right dose is. What's titration, sir? That means adjusting the dose until mm -hmm. you get the desired benefit. But you, sh you should always consult your doctor. It's always safe to consult your doctor when you're using uh, new products. So we always recommend that. Right. Yeah. Um, so Rachel asks, would this have any adverse, great question, any adverse effect on drug testing if my company I work for has mandatory requirements? So that, that could be a potential issue. The product is not psychoactive, but because we use a whole plant material, you, there's still a teeny, teeny, teeny amount of THC in it, and that could ping. So uh, because of that, do you have something? There's no active amounts of THC. You're not going to get high, but because it kind of drags it along with the whole plant, that that could be a little issue. Um, so we can't guarantee test results. Just to quantify what uh, hemp is that actually, uh, it's considered hemp when it's 0.04% of THC. Point th yeah, 0.3% THC, oh, so three-tenths okay. of 1% right. or less of THC. So I, I heard 0.4, but yeah, so that's, what hemp actually is then if it's under point, point three. But yeah. it still might ping on the drug test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. yeah unfortunately if, that's one of our yeah. Achilles heels. So if right you're competing there. in the NBA finals <laughs> or your company drug tests, maybe sorry Rachel. But if you're on vacation. All right. Serena, how can this help in soft tissue cancer in a dog? That sounds like a Yeah, major. I mean it's you know, it's so it, we help cancer patients a variety of ways. One is by reducing inflammation associated with radiation and chemo, and that's gonna reduce the pain associated uh, with treatment. So it's not, you should not look at marijuana, sorry, hemp or marijuana uh, to reduce tumor cell growth. That's not gonna do that. Uh, the, the science is promising that points to tumor cell reduction, but that's, that's not proven yet. What it's going to help is the symptoms of cancer, which is anxiety, which is inflammation and uh, pain. So that's what it's used right. best for. So let's jump into a sesso a little bit, which we've mm -hmm. done a bit, but just into the products. Sure. So there's one here for wellness. Yeah. Maybe so we, um, good cue. So yeah, so we have three products for a sesso. They're all specific indications like Therabis. This is Calm. So this is a product called Calm. And this is for anxiety, everyday stress and anxiety. Uh, it's got uh, cannabinoids as well as L-theanine, which is derived from green tea, and passion flower and lavender oil. And these are all natural herbal relaxants. And when you combine those together, they make for a very potent uh, anti-anxiety product. I, I take it every day about two o'clock. That's when my stress meter gets high and it, um, like I said, people call it uh, meditation in a pouch. It just chills right. me out, but it still keeps me focused. Uh -huh. We also have a product called Wellness, and this is a CBD product as well, but it's more uh, of a multivitamin that uses CBD. So we have the full B complex and C, D, and A vitamins, uh, as well as uh, capsaicin from peppers. So this is gonna, the, the foundation of this is reducing the inflammation in your body. 
but it's also serves as a multivitamin. So, you know, a lot of people take multis to give them energy throughout the day, particularly with the B vitamins. This is what you would take in place of your multivitamin. Mm. Uh, and it's going to reduce your inflammation. And then finally, we have a product called Soothe. And Soothe is for pain. And the label on this is all about uh, reducing inflammation in the body. So we have great things like curcumin, uh, beta carophyllene from cinnamon oil, and that's a natural anti-inflammatory. We have glucosamine sulfate, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. And when this is combined with uh, the cannabinoids, it makes for very uh, potent uh, pain products. So I take this for migraines. I'm a migraine sufferer. I get, um, I get an aura, so I know when I'm getting a migraine. Um, What's an aura? An aura is a visual or audio uh, telltale that you're about to have a migraine. Okay. And um, what migraine sufferers do is when they get an aura, they can take this and their migraine won't show up or it will be greatly reduced. So when I, I get my aura, I take the Soothe and um, my migraine still comes, but instead of being like an 8 on a 10 scale, it's like a 1 on a 10 scale. Really? Yeah, totally. Wow. And, and, but you have to... Uh, You've got to take That's it when amazing. you get your aura. Yeah, it's very effective. I used wow. to take I used to take like twelve Advil to get rid of migraines. Too, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. have migraines too. Actually. I don't get migraines at all, but once or twice a year I get like a normal headache, and I'm the wimpiest person ever. I like think the whole world was ended, and I like can't handle life. Well, so the, the I, bad thing about Advil is it destroys, or you know, uh, you know, Tylenol. Made, I don't want to mention yeah. brand names. It destroys your your <laughs> kidneys and your liver. So. Uh, um, this is a great natural headache. Product. Tylenol is not, or a, a product like Tylenol may not be super good for what? Kidneys? Uh, yeah, because yeah, because it puts a lot of stress on your endocrine system, so mm. it really stresses out your kidneys. I just took Tylenol this week <laughs> twice for my... If you take a lot of it, you got to take uh, a lot neck of it. and headache, yeah. Um, I work on the computer all the time, so I tend to get like little... That's my T-Rex computer posture. All right. Um... Lots of great comments. Cannabinoid is in the uh, comments and there's links and you can use Elephant to get the discount. So we have a lot of education on the website too. If you want to learn more about the science behind cannabinoids, you can go to the FAQs on our yeah, website. These aren't a bunch ahead. of like, you know, um, whatever, like dudes Hacks. hanging out. Yeah, just like hanging out talking about cool mm -hmm. cannabinoids. Like they actually know their stuff. I checked out the website before this. Um, is the human version okay for children to use? That's a great question. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's non-toxic. Uh, the beautiful thing about hemp is... Um, I'm looking for something to help my children with ADHD naturally. Yeah, so, so believe it or not, uh, the calm... So... There, there, this is a little science-y. So there's this thing called anandamide. Anandamide is a naturally excreted cannabinoid, and they call it anandamide because it induces bliss. Ananda is a Sanskrit word for yeah. bliss. So what the calm does is it inhibits your body's reuptake of anandamide and allows it to stay resident longer. So we've had a ton of success with ADHD parents who are giving it to their children, as well as insomnia because it induces this anandamide effect. But um, this is, you know, we're not a medicine, I can't prescribe this for ADHD, but we've had a fair amount of customers that use this with their kids for ADHD. But again, and there's it, a reason that big pharma sees this kind of thing as a major threat. Well, it but, works and it's found in nature, yeah. and um, yeah. you know, they wanna jump on that. Yeah, and ADHD is obviously something a lot of people in, including children are going through so that's, uh, yeah I mean I, you know admittedly I used to take Ritalin when I was a, a little boy and I wish really? I had this you, you can't tell no. I'm a little hyper so I I'm wish just, I had I, just I wish I had this newer thing I thought it was no I mean I was I was yeah I was taking it 30 years ago 35 wow. years ago wow I'm dating myself sorry <laughs> <laughs> um just trying to order stop the itch do you not ship to Ireland so we we do ship overseas. The shipping is a little expensive, uh, but we do ship overseas to Europe, to all of Europe. We ship to. Yeah. So uh, saying no shipping methods available. Anyway, Isling is trying. Call um call send an email to info info at and they can they can help you with that. Okay. Great question. That that sounds broken to me. We've been shipping to Ireland for a, a while. Yeah. Maybe best you can send an email to you. Um, all right, uh, Brittany, I've been interested in natural remedies for my ADHD and OCD. 
So the great thing about a sesso is they come in convenient little sachets, so it's literally something you can stick in your pocket or your purse. And uh, think of an emergency, you literally just rip the top and pour it in water, give it a stir and take it down, but they're very portable. And you so can travel very, with these? Oh like, yeah, you can travel with these. You can these. fly, there's yeah. nothing illegal in any way. Nope, nothing um, illegal in any way. Dumb question, but <laughs> just good to touch on. <laughs> um, all right, can you combine a couple of them, calm and wellness? So we, we have customers that do that, that do combine the products together. And um, what, we, what we say is um, we don't want you taking more than four sachets a day. That's kind of our, our theoretical limit. There, there's no threat of an overdose or death or lethal side effects, but we limit it to four a day. So let's say you have um, inflammation and you have anxiety. I would just take half of this sachet and half of that sachet. Right. That's what I would do. So you yeah. don't need to like pound it down. No. Yeah. No. Here's a great comment from Marla in Glastonbury, UK. Uh, CBD, beautiful plant, helps with fibromyalgia massively. Know many people of various ages who are using CBD. Is such a positive response. So yeah. So CBD is a neuroprotectant, and um, people with fibromyalgia uh, also have neuropathy, you know, um, pain in their nerve endings. So uh, cannabinoids. Our products are not designed for FM, but cannabinoids show a lot of promise with fibromyalgia because it's a, it's a neuroprotectant. Great question from April. Can you see that one? Are these products vegan? So, tech, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. They're they're certainly organic. You can't. The government won't let us label them organic because they have right. industrial hemp. So, so I would I would need to look at the vegan. Thing. That's another yeah. in email info at. Something or other. Email info at myassesso.com. Myassesso.com. That's a great question. April, um, I, I think a couple of your colleagues are online right now. On Absolutely. Yeah, we're, at, we're available to answer. So maybe you guys can weigh in in the comments. Um, yeah, we wish we could get organic certification, but the Fed, federal government does not want to grant that to the hemp companies, unfortunately. Love the education you're giving. So many people don't understand incredible benefits, including me. Um, my veterinary oncologist just told me that CBD doesn't have the same tumor shrinking properties in dogs as it does in humans. Yeah, most most of the science, uh, there, the 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 government is hard pressed to approve human trials for cannabinoids because they're so controversial. So there's there's the only trials that are out there um, are um, for cancer are in vitro, they're done in petri dishes. They're, they put cancer cells and cell lines in petri dishes and apply cannabinoids to them. There's, I don't think there's any canine trials of um, cancer and cannabinoids out there. So. There's a comment from Miranda, I have fibromyalgia and CBD definitely helps. Yeah. Tony asks, um, will this help with arthritic pain? So yeah, so, so inflammation is a main um, factor for arthritis. and. What CBD does primarily is get rid of inflammation in the body. So if you have any type of arthritic pain, osteoarthritis, joint health, um, it's going to assist with that big time, big time. All right. seems like we've done most of the recent questions, if, but there's like a, hundreds of questions here. If I've missed any, if you don't mind repeating them down below um, for Kurt, that'd be great. Basically, we're talking about, do you want to just maybe sum up what we've covered yeah so um i'm representing two companies we have the therapist line which is for canines and it's good for three things uh itching anxiety and osteoarthritis and it's a fully natural formula that's levered on cannabinoids and now we have the human line which is called a sesso which is also foundation on cannabinoids in the formula, but it's like all our products, it's really a full herbal blend. So it's not just about CBD, it's about all these other herbs as well. We designed this with an herbalist. And this is designed for pain, uh, anxiety, and general wellness. And it's a human product. Yeah, someone here, April, bought it for her elderly cat. Had no problem getting it. She's in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's it's fully legal. It's fully legal. So the Fed is okay if you ship stuff that has below 0.3% THC. That's the legal definition of industrial hemp is below 0.3% THC. 
So I think it goes in your drink or your food. How does the sesso? Yeah. yeah. So sesso goes in your drink. We They're just saying, does it work better orally or uh, topical? Put it in water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't use it on a topical. So it's literally a powder. <laughs> Sprinkle it in water. Put it in a water ball, bottle. In a, shake in a month, you're going to get an angry email from me. I've been <laughs> slathering yeah, it all yeah, over yeah. myself every day. Some people do that, though. Um, and the pet product is a powder that you sprinkle on their food. It's uh, That's also a sachet. So, you know easy to use, single serving, sprinkle it on their food. How is it for drink. muscles? Like if you're exercising, Jesse asks for soreness, so, I assume that so would So yeah, nice. it, it, it aids in the recovery because uh, you, know, we, you know, you create inflammation in your body when you work out, so it's definitely gonna speed your recovery from workouts, no question about it. So to sum up with Assesso again, we got calm, uh, everything's backward, I apologize, but um, you know, once you take this, you'll be calm and it, that won't concern you. And then we have Soothe, which is for pain uh, or headaches. And then we have Wellness, which is our multivitamin. And all, three, multivitamin. and all three are mixed with lots of other great things that you're listening Yeah, again, we're an herbal product that has cannabinoids as an ingredient. So we, uh, we like to balance it out. It's all about the formula. Well, I love it. Uh, this, for me, was super helpful. I walked into this being like, I don't want to get my dog high. You learned a lot today, didn't I you? I did. Yeah. I learned a lot. <laughs> but I learned something, at least. All right. um, so thank you so much. Yeah, for your thanks. Time. And you're very knowledgeable and accessible. So Thank you. you. Guys, go to our websites. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, yeah. Use the coupon code ELEPHANT for a 20% right. discount. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Waylon. Yeah, and again, they're about a buck a day for your yeah. pets and maybe about the same for yeah, yourself. Yeah, probably a little bit more for yourself. Yeah, right. A dollar a day is a good we're bigger on average. All right, you get one last view of the cute dogs. <laughs> What's going on with Pam, our resident expert herbalist? He fell, he's falling asleep. He's totally falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thank you so much. Yeah, Kurt. thanks, Will. Good man. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. They sent, they sent a good um, ambassador for this stuff. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, if you uh, want to order it, we'll put the link in one more time, Lindsay. Oh, you already did. You're all over it. And uh, you can use Elephant to get a discount, which will help you, you know, figure out if it's right for you or your pet. Um, and if you, when I hang up, if you click whatever, the little button, you'll get uh, notifications on future videos. So thank you. Please help support these great businesses that support Elephant. Everyone's happy and everyone wins. Thanks, guys.